Okay, so welcome back everyone. Let us see the today's question. Today's question name is summed matrix. It's an easy category question. And let us see how what are all the po possible approaches to solve this particular question. Let us jump back to our one note. Okay, here we are. So let us now highlight the plan uh, highlight all the points and then we can see. So multiplying matrix data curve n cross n and we have been in integer q. So the value at every cell is uh, m of ij, which is nothing but the sum of i and j is indexed here. How many can I think what are all the uh what do you have to find it? Uh return the number of the cells having the value q, right? So what are the possible number of cells which have the value q? The matrix, let's say one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and the values here would be one plus one, two, three, four, and five, and similarly so on and so forth. So what is the number of times? Uh, this Q is present. I can clearly say it is present two times, right? So the answer is two, right? So subset brute force katrika kya hoja gaya? O of n square make solution likh lo. That is, you have a for loop going from i equals to one till i less than equals to n and i plus plus. And you'll have another for loop going from j equals to one till j less than equals to n and j plus plus. And you'll just check that if i plus j is equals equals to what you're given Q, then I will just say uh, let's say account plus plus and at the last at the end of the nested for loop i will just say return count and that would be it right but what is the time required here is o of n square and what is the space required is o of one now let us see the constraint and then we can decide will the solution be submitted or not okay so if you see the constraint n is nothing but 10 power 18 right so hum wapas se constraint analysis karenge agar 10 power 18 ko aap n pe rakhoge right so it is 10 power 18 ka whole ka square which is nothing but 10 power 36 right which is much 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 greater than 10 power 8 here to have our solution submitted we should less our code with the time constant or let's say the number of iteration should be less than 10 power 8 then only we got a successful su submission otherwise we will get a TLE so what do we do for this? we will try to open the matrix here and then we will observe ki, what is the range of the queries we have been asked right so uh, I can clearly see I can clearly see that uh, uh, okay let let us let us visualize this matrix here itself i can clearly see that this would be uh, this would be my minimum value and this would be my maximum value right so minimum i can say is nothing but 2 and maximum i can say is nothing but 2 cross n right so jo hamara q ka jo range hai yaar yahi hamara range hoga q belongs to nothing but this minimum comma maximum which is nothing but 2 and comma 2 cross n right so if if first if first if goes as if query if my given query is less than two or or if my given query is less greater than two star n then in that case I will just say there is no possible answer and return zero right now let us see for rest of the cases as well so my yahi pe indexing kar deta hai one two three four and we have one two three and four right I hope this is visible yeah this is visible okay so I can clearly see that for q equals to 1, what is my answer? It is 1 comma 1, right? Similarly, for q, q, uh, q equals to 2, uh, what is my answer? So this is for answer 2 and for answer q equals to 3, my answer is uh, 1 comma 2 and then 2 comma 1. Similarly, for q equals to 4, I can see my answer would be, uh, what is it? 2 comma 2, 3 comma 1 and 1 comma 3. Similarly, for q equals to 5, 6, 7 and 8, we're going to do a dry run. And it is nothing but 3 comma 2, 2 comma 3, and 1 comma 4, and 4 comma 1. Similarly for 6, 3 comma 3, uh, 2 comma 4, 4 comma 2, and what we have. I think that's it. Yeah, that's it. Similarly for 7, it could be 4 comma 3 and 3 comma 4. Can we take 2 comma 5 as well? Nahi le sakte hai, kyunki n ka jo range over 4 hai. So we cannot this, take this one. And for 8 comma 8, it would be nothing but 4 comma 4, right? Now let us let us write the answer. So for this thing, the answer is 1. For this thing, answer is 2, answer is 3, answer is 4, right? So till the point, till the point when I am at q equals to 3, let's say, right? Q equals to 3. That is, I am here. Starting from 2, I'll go till n and I'll go till 2 n, right? So here the answer is if if the value is q, then the answer, or let's say it is varying decrementally, linearly. Decrease kar hai one say right. So there goes my another if. This goes my another if. So I will just say else if. Yaha pe the query if it is n, n is greater than my query. In that case I will just say return 
क्यू माइनस वन राइट एन एंड रेस्ट ऑफ द केसेज एन एंड रेस्ट ऑफ द केसेज यहाँ पर मैं देख पा रहा हूँ कि फाइव के लिए जो है वो फोर है आंसर दैट इज क्यू इज नथिंग बट एन प्लस वन राइट क्यू इज नथिंग बट एन प्लस वन राइट इट अगेन क्यू इज नथिंग बट एन प्लस वन राइट एंड एन वी नो इज फोर एंड माई आंसर माई आंसर इज फोर अगेन सो माई आंसर इज एन सिमिलरली फॉर नेक्स्ट स्टेप फॉर क्यू इक्व टू सिक्स इट इज एन प्लस टू एंड माई आंसर इज थ्री दैर इज एन माइनस वन एंड सिमिलरली हेयर इट इज एन प्लस थ्री द आंसर इज एन माइनस टू एंड एन प्लस फोर एंड द आंसर इज एन माइनस थ्री ठीक है यार मतलब कि मतलब कि इफ आई टेक दिस टर्म एंड दिस सीक्वेंस एंड आई ट्राई टू फॉलो द पैटर्न वॉट इज द पैटर्न इज कि एन प्लस टू के लिए हमारा आंसर एन माइनस वन है राइट मैं इस टू को निकाल सकता हूँ यार दिस इज नथिंग बट क्यू राइट मैं क्या करूँगा क्यू माइनस एन कर लूँगा और ये मेरा वैल्यू निकल के आ जाएगा दिस दिस टू राइट मेरे को क्या चाहिए यहाँ पे दो ज़्यादा था और यहाँ पे एक कम करना है तो मैं क्या करूँगा इस चीज़ में इस पर्टिकुलर चीज़ में टू माइनस वन करूँगा और यहाँ पे रिप्लेस कर दूँगा राइट तो वट आई विल डू द लास्ट केस द लास्ट केस इज आई विल कैलकुलेट अ डिफरेंस विच विल बी स्टोर्ड इन क्यू माइनस एन राइट एंड आई विल जस्ट से दैट रिटर्न रिटर्न एन माइनस क्यू माइनस और लेट से जस्ट दिस डिफरेंस Uh, we need to return this difference minus one, right? So I'll just say n minus difference minus one, and that would be it. That would be our last else case. Or itne mein hamara question ho chuka solve yar. And you can clearly see that we are using just three else if statements. So it would be o of one as time and space as again o of one. This was this video here. Now try to code this approach by yourself. ओके सो आई होप यू वर एबल टू डू सो कुछ भी यहाँ पे ज़्यादा हार्ड एंड फास्ट नहीं था जो हमने ड्राई रन किया वी हैव कोरेट द सेम सोल्यूशन सो दैट्स इट सारे टास्क पास हो गए हैं और मिलते हैं कल के प्योर सी डिस्ट्रिक में इफ पॉसिबल एंड लेट इस कंटिन्यू अगैन विद द नेक्स्ट वीडियो विद द नेक्स्ट मोटिवेशन टू लर्न की पॉर्निंग की ग्रीन बाय टेक केयर एंड डू नॉट फॉर गेट टू चेक आउट अनदर प्ले लिस्ट एज वेल टिल बाय बाय